welcome back to Nebuchadnezzar. Now, in the last episode, we finished our temple, which is the Temple of Nana. Nana was the god of the moon in ancient Mesopotamia and was worshipped by the Sumerians, Akkadians, Syrians, and Babylonians. In the middle of the third millennium BC, when Ur wielded a great political power, he was considered the head of the Sumerian pantheon. Now, we can rotate the map, so this is what the temple looks like from the front. Quite beautiful uh, building. Anyways, we are working very hard to get back to... Um, uh, we can actually delete some of these now. So let's do that. We can also delete that work camp because the temple is done. I like to keep some bricks around, or rather I think it's good to keep some bricks around due to the fact that those other cities might request it. And it's not a good idea to not have goods that you can't fulfill the requests for, so... Now I have a little conundrum here, and that conundrum is that I need a warehouse here for uh, copper jewellery. There's only one way to solve that, and that is to do it like this. Now we're going probably to go going to have some uh, this fish. I, mean, I put that there. Yep, and this is dates. You go there. Probably going to have some. Ah, we need goods. Uh, immediately send 26 copper. Yeah. There you go. And we need to remove this. And these. And we need another warehouse here. And that warehouse will accept jewelry. And then, for the third time, we need to build this market. Now here. And uh, now we set this up with dates, and we make the same finigly route. And fish. Just copy that one. This one shouldn't be there. This one should. Okay. Um, why isn't this guy doing his job? Because I haven't sent you to the warehouse. That's why. That probably helps. Never can tell. Okay, we're 27,000. Okay, we have plenty of money for the time being, that's for sure. Uh, we can add these houses in now. Or villas, so we have the 32 required. Might as well speed up things a little bit up as well. Now, they do require religion, so we need priests' quarters. Build that there, and we'll give this guy the task of walking round and round there. Now this guy, you can go down like that, and then up and down. There we go. We're getting the jewelry. Mm. 
think we'll have a caravanserai here for jewelry go from there to there do we have a trade partner who accepts jewelry yes we do umma How much do you buy? 60. Well, there's no reason why we shouldn't sell that. Well, there is one good reason, actually. Uh, I don't have room for any more warehouses, and I really need to make sure that we get this much copper on each um, incoming boat. And it's not like we need the money anyway, so it's, it's fine. looking like now oh. it's not that bad the appeal should be very high so the temple doesn't give any uh, appeal that's good to know we may just as well have some grass here have that around the temple as well. Actually, we can have it all the way out here. Then we can have a road going like that. Okay, so they have faith. All they need now is the uh, jewelry. And there we go with spacious villas. These guys keep running out of milk. <laughs> well, there is one way I can fix that, which is to remove that house and build another poor market here. And this poor market will set up with milk and go like that and you can go like that because it seems to be the milk that is the issue all the time so are in the wrong location, they're supposed to be there. There are some villas that hasn't upgraded or I've done a counting mistake. Nah, then they are having issues. Missing resource.
could add in another market if I do this. They need 27 units of copper jewelry. Ah. I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. I am actually going to set up another trader. Going from there to there. Okay, so they need nine appeal as well. That is, that is easily fixable. I think I'll just use grass. I did not mean to do that. So what people are leaving this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what area does not have up here? Okay. No. Got an obelisk there instead. So these guys are not getting enough of uh, the dates, so I think I shall set up another market here. So that was that mission completed. Apparently, I'm not sure why we got victory there, since it wasn't all the, didn't have all buildings at the max level. Anyhow, um, I would say that uh, if I'm to give this game a review, this is definitely a game that I'm going to uh, to be playing. I I love these kind of isometric city builder games and. Uh, this one has so many new features and challenges that I am very uh, eager to explore. But I don't know if uh, making a fully fledged series on this game is uh, really what you guys want to see. So how about you people uh, tell me in the comments if you want me to make uh, more content on the game and I will happily provide that if, uh, if there is enough uh, interest in it. You've seen most of the uh, most of the um, mechanics. Uh, I don't think there's anything, at least at this stage of the game. This is early game. There might be more mechanics later on. The only mechanic that I haven't shown you is the one where we build the temple ourselves, but I have no idea how to do that. So that is something that I would have to look into. Um, I mean, I, I I guess that thing needs to have bricks before I'm actually allowed to build anything. Uh, I, I think it is that simple, but uh, I don't know. Um, yes. I hope that you enjoyed the series, and I uh, hope that if you like the game, you, that you go buy it. Uh, uh, there is a, a link in the description to uh, the Steam store page for the game. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all in another series, or if I continue this, I will see you in the next episode.